Well, incredible scenes there to just see Sean Johnson and Kevin Proctor yes. both emerge from the dressing room, go back out onto the field in view of the public and sort out what was a pretty distressing incident. We heard reports from the ground that Kevin Proctor thought that uh, Sean perhaps had him on a really tight hold around the neck. Let's go straight to Netstrata Stadium. Sean Johnson, the man in the middle of all this. Now, we've been looking at replays. Sean, first of all, congratulations on the win. Well done. We're going to ask you about your groin in a moment, but let's begin with the accusations of the bite. What happened? Um, nah, look, n nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I think, um, you know, we we're both heated in the middle of the game. Um, I was a bit high on him. Whatever happened, happened, and, you know, we're still mates. Um, I just spoke to him then. Obviously, it's his 250th, and I didn't want this to dampen it at all. So, mate, he's been a great player for so long. Um, you know, obviously at Melbourne to start now at Gold Coast, and um, has led with his actions his whole career. So, you know, I think it's inappropriate, or, you know, I guess doesn't do Kevy of justice to speak about this. You know, he's a great player, and I've, I've loved playing with him at Kiwi level. So, nothing but respect for him. We know that you do have a, a long history together, and obviously Kiwi teammates. But we're looking at vision where your forearm obviously went into his mouth. He accused you of perhaps choking him around uh, the head. Do you have any insight into that? Nah, nah, no insight, no insight. All right, well, you left the game and it's good to see that you both came out and were able to uh, talk. What did you say when you both uh, went back out onto the field? Uh, no, he just, just said, good game. Um, congrats on 250. Um, I love you. He loves me. Still good friends, so... Um, look, like I said, man, there's nothing, nothing much to say about it. It is what it is. Uh, what happens on the field stays on the field and, yeah, don't need to talk about it now. Sean, obviously a, a really turning moment in the game. The fact that it was 12 all, Kevin Proctor, he's only had one incident uh, throughout his whole career and the fact that we've seen the vision of your um, forearm in his mouth, no doubt Henry Perinara has had a look at where the incident is. We're seeing uh, at the moment Kevin Proctor clearly emotional inside the dressing room. Uh, and there's going to be more of it. Now, if this goes to the judiciary, which it will, will you front up and, and explain what's going on, given that you won't talk to us at the moment about the term of events? No, not at all. I don't see the value of even taking it any further than what's happened here today. Um, like I said, I'm not going to repeat myself, guys. I, I've got nothing but respect for Kevy and um, I love him as a player and love him as a person. So, no, nah, nothing more to say about it. All right, Sean. Well, onwards and upwards for the Cronulla Sharks. Uh, you failed to finish that game. I mean, sensationally, individually, you've been wonderful week in, week out. Uh, how is that groin? Yeah, no, the groin's, um, the groin's OK. It was more um, precautionary, I think. You know, when I told him about it, I sort of stayed on the field for about five, ten minutes and just slowly, progressively got a bit worse. So, um, you know, luckily we were a couple of scores up at that point, so I was able to jump off and um, look after it this week and get ready for, I think, the Panthers next week. All right, Sean, well, we're just seeing some shots of um, Kevin in tears in the shed, so um, I'll leave it the, with the friendship between the two of you and perhaps a, a friendly text could go a long way. Nah, appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Sean Johnson there. Appreciate uh, his insights straight after what was a pretty troubling uh, incident. Looking at the reaction now from Kevin Proctor. Yeah. He's obviously very emotional. He's upset. He did the right thing. He went out and tried to smooth it over with Sean. Sean, by his own words, said everything's fine now. Does it change anything for Kevin Proctor, his leadership or, well, or how he's regarded at the time? Well, Bonnie, um, did Sean actually make an accusa accusation that um, Kevin did, did bite him? You know, I mean, we probably should have asked that question of Sean as well, but um, from my perspective, um, you've got to be clear, you've got to be emotional around this. I mean, it, this is not... This is, this is what Kev Kevin Proctor doesn't do, these sort of things, you know? So he's, he is emotional and obviously he's, he's upset and distraught by, by his, his assumed allegations, his actions. Um, and he's the leader of the, of the footy team and he, he needs to lead by example. And this is totally out of character, totally out of character. He's a competitive guy, as you mentioned before, he's in his 250th game of his career. Um, you know, he's, it's, it's, it's a shame it's the way it's, it's actually yeah. transpired. Look, it's, it's out of character of a few people that James Graham is very close with it. Mick Innes would say that his effort in the grand final was completely out of character. I've played a lot of football with Kevin Proctor and Sean Johnson stood up for his Kiwi teammate in that interview just then. But the pitches do not lie and the integrity of our competition must remain considering that we inspire a lot of junior rugby league players to play the game and have mums and dads follow it. So um, the body language of Kevin, I, I know him well and that's a very remorseful guy, but he's going to have one tough week heading up to the judiciary and he's going to have, I'd imagine, a first suspension to think about uh, those actions and um, a chance to redeem himself maybe 
you know, late in this year or possibly into the next season? Yeah, a nervous wait for Kevin Proctor. Sean Johnson unwilling to elaborate, not sure if he'll go on and make an official complaint. I think, you know, after the initial flare-up, you get, you're able to assess yeah, yeah. things a little bit clearly. And obviously he has a long association with Kevin and didn't want to go on with it. But uh, there you go, Cronulla, 30-18 uh, to 18 point winners. But the big storyline is obviously the playing future of Kevin Proctor and whether he'll be able to take any further part in this 2020 season. All right, up next, it is the Cow.